Hey guys, Joshua Bainsek, and this week we had Google I.O. 2014, and they introduced the new Android Developer Preview L, which is just going to bring some really amazing stuff once it's available to most devices. Now, the Nexus devices, the Nexus 5 and Nexus 7 2013, you are able to get the full-blown deal. Like, you can download it and get it all installed, but some guys, like myself, I don't have a Nexus, and so I'm like, daggummit, I want to get some of this nice new stuff, but... I got no Nexus, so I have to resort to doing like system dump kind of stuff. And I'm going to show you how to get the keyboard in this video. And for this method, you don't have to have a rooted device. Now, there's another method out there that you have to be rooted for, but this one you don't have to be, which is awesome. Now, fortunately, we have an awesome developer community, and there's this guy here in XDA forums that posted a way to do it with just an APK file that's modded. You don't have to be rooted. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So let's go ahead and get going. I have a link in the description first of all, so you can follow along with me, have all the downloads and everything that you need right there. So here we are at the post. I'm using Tapa Talk forums app and I'm gonna go ahead and just select this link here. And click cancel for that because you don't want to get that. Oh, it. One of the bad things about some of these download sites is that there's ads everywhere. And you see here, download file, download file, download file. Well, which freaking one do I have to download? Find the one that's the smallest. <laughs> and that's going to get you the one that you need. And I always like to use Chrome, so use Chrome to download it. I usually just hit once. And down here at the bottom, you're going to see Latin IME Google non-root APK. So the download is starting. Wait for it to finish. It might take a minute. I'm using my Wi-Fi. My Wi-Fi is not the best in the world. All right, so while this is downloading, I'm going to retweet a like post. Swipe away an email. See that it's 87 degrees and clear. While that's downloading, what you're going to want to do too is if you have the Google keyboard from the Play Store downloaded, go ahead and uninstall that. One way to check is you can also go to Language and Keyboard and see if there's anything there. Yeah, I don't have it installed. I just have SwiftKey and then the Sense keyboard, so I'm good to go with that. Okay, so if you haven't already, go to your settings and go to your security tab. And you're going to want to scroll down and make sure the unknown sources is checked on. That way you can install the APK. Otherwise, it's going to be you're going to be forced to do it anyways. So do that while it's downloading. All right, so let's go to our downloads folder. Here we are at the downloads folder. It's going to be the Latin IME Google non-root APK. Select it, hit next, install. Hit open, and here we go. Welcome to Google Keyboard, sweet. All right, so get started. Let's enable it in settings. Now, this is the HTC One I made. It's gonna be a little bit different of how to enable it. Like a Samsung device, you just kind of check it on and that's it. Switch input methods. Gonna select English, US, Google Keyboard, and if you want to do some more languages, you can, or hit finished. Here's the Google keyboard, but what you're going to want to do is go to the settings and change it to material so that we can get the nice new sweet stuff. If I can find Google keyboard, there it is. Go all the way down to advanced settings. Go to theme and material. And then we can hit back, go back to it. And now you got the new Google keyboard. You got the swiping options here as normal. You got the new theme. It looks good. From what I've been able to tell with everybody else using it, it's been very accurate. I haven't been able to really mess around with it because I just installed it just now. This is my first time using it. So I'm going to enjoy it. I'm going to try to use it for a while. I'm so used to using SwiftKey that I'm really spoiled by it. And so I'm hoping that this is good. I really like this new look. It's really flat looking. I really like the new look. It looks really nice. So I like to turn off the vibrate. I don't like the vibrate. Let's see what else there is. Turn off a block, offensive words. 
auto correction options, personalized suggestions. Looks pretty awesome. So yeah, I'm gonna try give this a go and I'll probably do like a review on it, just a quick like impressions review and how I like it versus SwiftKey and whatnot. So be sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already to see that video. A few of the other options here is you can kind of faintly see the menu, like three dot menu kind of stuff. So you always long press that to get to different stuff. So the comma brings up the input languages and keyboard settings. So that's a shortcut to there. You can also long press the space bar and then you can change your input method altogether if you want to. So if you wanted to go back to Swift key or your stock keyboard, if you long press the period, you get different punctuation. And then lastly, whatever icon is over here right now, we could just get like the okay or check mark. It could be also the search or magnifying glass, but if you long press it, you get the option to get to all your smileys or emoji, emocons, whatever you want to call it, all up here. So it looks like it's got some pretty good support here. Lots to choose from. You just swipe over to get to a bunch of different ones there. And if you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up. And I'm really excited that this is available for all Android devices, not just rooted phones. So pretty cool stuff there. Thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please give a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next video. Yeah.